Okay, hello everybody. You know, I shouldn't be doing this, I should be resting my throat, but I had to come, something was tugging at me, and I had to come and do this updated read on Suzanne Morphew. Now we know a lot of things have come to light, and there's a lot of things that I'm concerned about, and I'm sure that you guys are too, okay? So we're going to try and get some answers on that, okay? I'm also going to ask, if you haven't subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. Hit the notification bell so you're made aware when I go live and when I do bring you updated information. Okay, there, so there are some things that I know that I can't share right now, but I will be able to use that in this reading too. So this is going to be a little bit different of a reading, okay? And we're going to try and figure out what the heck is going on as Andy continues his search for his sister. They have hit, the, the dogs, cadaver dogs have hit on three different spots. One of those spots, two different dogs brought in at different times hit on that spot, okay? And there's something going on. Um, why, why police are not, are not um, doing what they should be doing with these sites, okay, before releasing them, okay? I know the sheriff released a statement yesterday saying that nothing related to Suzanne was found. Well, how do you know that if you haven't searched it? If you haven't dug down, a, a positive hit means the dog smells decomp, okay? And these dogs are trained specifically for human, not animal, human. Got a passive hit, which means the dog can't get to the scent, but the, he smells it. So which means it's buried, okay? Other people won't come out and say it straight out. The dog can't get to it. That's why they call it a passive hit. The dog cannot get to the actual object that is emitting that scent, which is human remains, because that's what they're trained to find, okay? So how do you know there's nothing down there if you haven't dug it up and searched it? If you haven't processed that, that scene according to protocol, how do you know there's nothing there? How can you say that you didn't find anything, that it has nothing to do with Suzanne? Okay, so I'm having issues. Now, there was another area also that Andy Mormon himself had to sit there and protect with his friend, even if they got to camp out there all night and demand that this site is dug. And that's the one that the two cadaver dogs, two different cadaver dogs hit on the same site. Okay, now I believe that that site is the new plot of land that, um, that Barry purchased. Okay, in Longhorn Ranch sub subdivision. Okay, um, an another day in the car, Jules. So she drove by that site. Go check out her video on that. Okay, and when you see the pictures of the dog hitting on areas, okay, you see that one building that's built there with one big, huge garage door and then two smaller ones. That picture is also in the drive that uh, Jules did. Okay, in another day in the car. Okay. Barry's plot that he bought is across from that house. And that's where the dogs hit. Okay. That's number one. Number two, everybody is going nuts about, who have seen that video, about a bobcat being on that site. That's not Barry's bobcat that's on that site in Jules's video. It's totally different. If you look at the, the wheels... Barry's has actual wheels. This one has like, um, like a treadmill for wheels. Okay. So it's not the same Bobcat. Okay. So let's clear that up right now. But that property that Barry owns there that he bought, that's where the two cadaver dogs hit. Okay. And that's where Barry is tonight. Uh, was, was all night last night protecting that site because I guess police went and cleared it. How can you clear it? You know, and these were hits. The dogs actually sat, which is a 
positive, the best positive hit you can get is when the dog sniffs and then sits. There's something there. There's also a talk about a tree. Okay? A tree that was planted. Where dogs hit on. Okay? So there's the three. Okay? I believe that her remains have been moved a couple times, if not three. Okay? I said right at the beginning that three is going to be significant. Okay? So we've got three sites. Okay? This was the cadaver dog sit on the third day. There's so many with this three. Okay? There's also the five people are saying about, um, I want to shout out profiling, profiling evil, go check out their channel. Um, they're talking about five, that five, it's not just a ploy, you guys. It's not just, uh, something they've made up to, to gain subscribers. I hear so many things out there that five is going to be significant too. And it means something. Okay. They're not going to say right now. And I know what it is, but I'm not going to say either. Okay, so we're going to try and figure out here what the heck is going on. Um, I did watch a little bit of Profiling Eva last night and Chris McDonough was getting really upset. Okay. And with good cause. He said a few things that I think, um, in my opinion, I think Mike tried to shut down. Mike King. But he said them, and I, I, Chris McDonough, I give you kudos for coming out and saying what's on your mind without saying everything you know. You said what you needed to say, even though maybe you shouldn't have said a couple of things, but you did, and that's okay. And I have the utmost respect for you, okay? Because too many people are staying quiet, okay? And something needs to give, like something, something's up. Okay, so what we're going to do with this is we're going to do a little bit of a different read. Okay, we're going to use the ancestor cards and we're going to use maybe, I've got another deck sitting out, the LQ. And I might use another one depending on what comes out, okay. So this is going to be five cards. The first one's going to represent Suzanne. Okay. So the ancestors to come and help us with this read to help us figure out what the heck is going on with the searching and why police aren't doing protocol. What is going on? What does Suzanne think about it? Is her brother, did her brother find her? Is her brother close? Give us the information that we need, please. The ancestors, my guardian angels, Archangel Michael, Archangel Gabriel, Archangel Raphael, please come and help us. Okay. So we got two cards here. Okay. So this is talking about Suzanne. Okay. So this represents Suzanne. She's talking something about the past. And she's talking about distance. So this means she's been taken. She's been taken away from the home. Okay. Now I know. Um, I think. Chris McDonough tried to explain this last night. How they haven't left the home yet. It's not that Suzanne wasn't taken from the home. But when they say they haven't left the home. That's where they believe this happened. Okay. Now, after this happened, okay, she's saying something about a distance and about past, okay? So to me, and this is my interpretation only, I think this was premeditated. And I think where he buried her, where he put her remains, and I don't believe it's in one spot. I believe it's three. He had these these spots pre-planned okay because she's talking about the distance and she's talking about the past the past is any time before she was murdered okay 
So these spots, he had this planned out. He had this planned out for her. So I'm assuming that if things didn't go his way, he already had this planned. Okay. So the second area that we're going to look at, that we're going to ask the ancestors for answers on, is... How Suzanne sees things, okay? How she sees things that are going on right now. Okay, and this could be her explaining where she is, how it happened, what he did why these were turned upside down you just gotta put them back in there properly see there's some cards here that are sticking <coughs> excuse me guys you guys know about my my throat issue going on here so this this position is going to tell us how she sees things right now with what's going on how things are being handled okay them with what law enforcement is and is not doing. Would you want us to know? Okay. Okay. So the reuniting came out, okay? And I'm going to tell you, in a read like this, I think he's returning to the sites or driving by the sites to make sure that they haven't found her yet. He's keeping an eye on where she is, okay? You see this? You know what we just asked her? What we wish to tell us what is going on? Why are things happening the way they're happening? What's going on around this search and everything else? You see this? Somebody that she had unconditional love for is guilty of this, okay? And it's coming to light. So I believe that in this situation, when she says that it's somebody she had unconditional love for who's guilty of this, and things are coming to light, okay? So that's a good sign, okay? That's in the second position. This flew out. This is telling me, this is not reuniting with somebody, not in a read like this. This is telling me that he is keeping an eye on the spots where she is. Okay? I need to take a drink here, you guys. Okay, so the third position is going to tell us about lessons that she learned a little too late that she wants to share. So this is probably going to be regarding why this happened. Okay, there's one card already. Okay, this is going to give us some insight as to why this happened, the circumstances around it. These are the lessons that she learned a little too late. Okay. Okay. And there's two more that just flew. I'm going to put the, the cards right here so you guys see I'm not touching them. I'm going to grab the ones that flew out. Okay, so the, here's the ones that hit the ground, okay? We're gonna, and we're going to look at them. I'm going to leave them right there, okay? So lessons that, that she learned a little too late, okay? Which, you know, surrounded her death and everything else. Things that she wants us to know about how she died, why she died, and everything else. See the sun? The sun tells me about new beginnings. She wanted new beginnings. I believe, which I've been saying since the beginning, 
if she wanted a divorce. She wanted out of this controlling situation. She wanted to go back to Indiana. She didn't like where she was and she didn't like the control that Barry was having over her. And I, it, and what's come to light recently is this stuff about the domestic abuse. Okay. So I, I believe that there was, she wanted a new beginning. Okay. You see this? Keep an eye on the ones that have actually flown out. Okay. So we asked Suzanne, here's the cards that flew out. There's three of them that flew out. I thought there was two. There's three. These are the cards that flew out and they landed on the floor when we asked. Okay. In the third position, these are things she wants to share with us, the lessons that she learned, okay, which led to her death, okay? And this is what came out. See the obsessed? He, she's talking about Barry here. She learned how obsessed he was with the, not only the control of her, but the control of the finances, where she went, how she went, with who she went with, the total control. He was obsessed. Okay. She talks about trust and I believe that this was trust that was broken. Okay. I believe that she found out a bunch of, of things that she wasn't happy with. The, and the, the trust also speaks about, you know, the trust that she had in him to keep her safe, to, to, to be able to lead a normal life. You know, like, like husband and wife, like, yeah, sometimes wives go on girls trips and this and that. She wasn't allowed to do any, any of that. Okay. The trust was broken with him and he was obsessed with keeping her secluded. See this, this talks about deep emotional feelings. He wore her down and broke her down so bad. Okay. And this also speaks about cleaning things. Okay. We've heard a lot about the chlorine, the bleach, whatever that was at the house, the hotel. Okay. This is also, she's also talking about even before she was killed, that he was already covering things up. He was already, you see this here that she came out with at the very beginning. He had this plan. He, these places where he has her remains were, and I hate to say this, you guys, were ready and waiting. I think he knew she'd had enough. She wanted a divorce. That was it. These places were, were waiting. He had this plan and they're at a distance. They're not at the house. Okay. She's taken from where she was in the past, the past talks about before she was, she was killed. She was taken from there and she's been taken a distance. This also talks about not only the deep, deep emotional feelings. I feel she was broken. He broke her down so bad. And he tried to cover up a lot of things and clean things up. Not only after he killed her, but leading up to. He was cleaning things up, making things look pretty, pretty, like everything was fine. This is what she's telling us. Okay. That's what she wants to share about the lessons she learned. She should have, she's, it's almost like she, she's feeling like she should have paid more attention to some of his actions, but she's telling us that she wanted a new beginning. This is why it happened. She wanted a new beginning. This when we asked about the situation, about what's going on with her, where she is, where she's buried, whatever, what ha what's happened there, like how she's seeing things. He keeps checking on these sites, you guys. Okay. So the fourth position we're going to look at is something that she wished she maybe paid more attention to. So now she wants us to pay attention to. Okay. The ancestors, Archangel Michael, Gabriel, and Raphael, please come through and help us. We need to locate Suzanne. Are they on the right trail? Are they in the right spot? We need to know what we need to pay more attention to. What do we need to pay more attention to? That she should pay more attention to. What do we need to pay more attention to?
There's one. I'll move that right there. There's one. Whoa, we got quite a few here. Okay, so we asked what she should have paid more attention to and what we need to pay more attention to. You see the card that comes out with the officials? Somebody's hiding behind a mask. See this justice? I'm seeing so much here. Even though she's free from him now, she's sad and crying because I think she's worried about her girls being free from him. Okay? I think there's something else going on And this is also saying she wanted to be free of him. Okay? But there's something going on here with the officials in justice and somebody hiding behind a mask. This is... This is in my opinion, you guys. This needs to be looked at. There's something going on. And this is making her very, very sad. There's something going on here. And I don't think I need to say anything about this. I don't think she realized because in this position we asked her what are things that she wished she'd paid more attention to and that we need to pay more attention to and look what came out see this the officials with justice and somebody's hiding behind a mask something's going on there And I think that we've all had a little bit of concern regarding that being that areas aren't being searched properly and protocols not being followed. There's something going on there. I'm going to leave that there. Okay, so the final spot here. I think she knows this person. I think she knows this person or knows of this person who's hindering stuff. And this isn't Barry. Although Barry does hide behind a mask, this isn't, I'm not getting that connection. This connection is with this. Like I said, this is a very different read. This is Barry here. This is Barry here. This is different. So we're going to ask now what Suzanne wants to share with us regarding this, that she obviously can see from the spirit world, looking down on what's going on, what does she want us to know? comes to warn us about evil evil people evil deeds see this 
We just asked her, what does she want us to know? She's talking about the crow. Evil. Evil people. Evil deeds. Deception. The partner. Okay? We also got the cheat. And we got alive. Cheated her out of her life. Okay? And he's celebrating because he thinks that he's got away with this. Okay? He doesn't think that he that he can be held to this. But she's come to tell us that the partner treated her out of... It was probably cheating on her when she was alive or cheating her out of things. But she knew. She knew when she was alive about this partner and all the dirty deeds and everything that he did. She knew about it. So this, to me, just solidifies this here. She knew. And I think she wanted that divorce. See this up here. I think that he goes back and checks on these sites often, drives by them. She wanted a new beginning. She wanted out of this. She wanted out of this marriage. And I, I mean, I've gotten this since the beginning. <coughs> this is her. She's talking about the past. Okay. Which tells me that this was planned. These spots where she is, where her remains are going to be found, was pre-planned. The past talks about before she passed. He had this planned. And this is, this is, this is scary. Okay, I'm going to... Suzanne, who are these the people that we should be wary of? Okay, we got Polaris. Dare, do, and reach. She who flies. who grants wishes, wish, desires, and hope. Isra, she who dreams, okay? So Isra talks about escape, escape, dreams, fantasy. Alice talks about wishes, desires, and hope. And Valerius talks about dare, do, and reach. I think she's talking here about what she had wished. Okay, she wanted to escape the reaches of Barry. She tried to escape, but nope. And of Alaris, it's like, how dare you? And that's exactly what I'm seeing, you guys. She wanted to escape, okay? She had dreams of a better... See this? The sun. She had 
dreams of a better life. She had the wishes, the desires, the hope to do that. She tried to escape. And he, it's like, how dare you? Wow. So you guys, this is my read. I think it speaks volumes. It just reiterates what I have said all along. There, there's a couple new things that have come out that resonate with me right now. And this is one of them. There's something going on. There's something going on there. And I think you guys all know what I'm talking about. There's something somebody's hiding. Something somebody's not doing what they should be doing. Okay, and you see these that come out. She wanted to change, she wanted to be free. And the reunite, when that came out, that's that's him going and checking on these areas. This, this, this says it all. Okay, and I've explained that. I'm not gonna go over it too much, you guys, because of my throat, but this too also speaks about when she was alive. Okay, so she knew. And I think this was premeditated. I think he had this ready and to go. So if she didn't follow what he wanted, he already had spots lined up for her, I think. But there's something going on here. Okay. And after what pushed me to actually do this read today was watching profiling evil last night when I seen how upset Chris McDonough got. Okay. And I mean, I've been seeing this all along with things not being taken seriously and being, um, I, I think I said this in my life, so I will say it again with things being just pushed to the side, like they don't matter. There's been photos, there's been areas of interest that should have been at least looked at that haven't been, that law enforcement has been sent and they haven't even looked into it. They say they look into every tip. I don't believe that for a minute because I know personally of areas that were sent to me that were sent on to LE that they have not checked, have no interest in checking. There's something going on there. Okay. This is Suzanne. This is her telling us. Okay. This represents her. Okay. This was ready and waiting for her if she didn't do exactly what he wanted. And this is all in my opinion, you guys. Like I said, I had this conversation yesterday with somebody that believes Barry could be innocent. All the power to you. Everybody is entitled to their opinion, and I respect your opinion. But please respect mine. I'm not going to force it on you. I'm showing you what I get and how I get it and why I'm getting it. And I also said yesterday in my live, if I'm wrong, I will plaster it all over my page. Apologizing up and down to Barry, but I don't think I'm going to have to do that. Okay? And I do believe in innocent until proven guilty, but when you start seeing every red flag plus some, there comes a time that you just can't believe that he's innocent anymore. And he's contributed to that himself. And actually, it's Barry himself that solidified that for me. Not anything I've seen on the news. Barry himself. The short little interview he gave, the interview with Tyson, the interview with Lauren. That's what I went on. I didn't. I don't go on by what other people report or what other reads say or anything like that. I don't bring that into mine. I go, I'm basing my opinion solely 
on words that have come out of Barry's own mouth. That's the, the video he did, that 25 second, oh, Suzanne, if you're out there, okay? The interview he did with Tyson, his own words. And the audio that I heard, not what Lauren said he said, the actual audio that was played of Barry. That's what I have based and Barry's actions. Barry's actions. I don't go by what the news is telling you. I don't go by what anything. I, I'm going by exactly what Barry has said and come out with. Okay, you guys? And that's how I think everybody should judge him. By, not by what somebody else said he said. Judge your opinion exactly on his own words that you can hear with your own ears. Words that he has said and things that you can see with your own eyes that he has done or hasn't done. Okay? To me, that's being fair. I'm not judging him off of what any news report said or another reader said or whatever. I'm basing it off my own ears, eyes, and my reads. That's what I'm basing my opinion on, and it's in my opinion. And I respect everybody for their opinion, whether I like their opinion or not. I still respect them for it, to each their own. And, you know, I hope to God you guys are right that he didn't. I hope I'm totally wrong. I do. Because this is awful sad for somebody that you love and that loved you that you could do something like this too. So that just appalls me. That's that's the evilest of evil. So I hope to God I'm wrong. Okay, you guys. So I want to thank you for joining me. If you've stayed here until the end of this, I really appreciate it. Please hit that subscribe button if you haven't. And I'm going to try and stay up to date as much as I can, you guys. And also do what the doctor said with resting my voice okay let's pray that things happen soon okay again thank you all for being here thank you for supporting me thank you to everybody in my in my lives um if anything does come up i will try and pop onto a live if not please watch for my posts and i will post any new information there and if I'm told that I can release certain things, I will also do that. So hit that notification bell too and hit that subscribe so you're made aware when I can do that. Okay? Thank you so much, you guys. Please take care of yourselves and please stay safe. Much love. Bye-bye for now.